we're going to tackle the burners and the ignition on this Parker boiler one thing to keep in mind our spark electrode here this is a continuous duty spark transformer and during our operation we will have spark continuing throughout the entirety of the cycle and pilot will be present as well this guy seems a little loose a little loosey goosey that's not uh, that's not too cool so we're gonna fix that up we don't we don't need it moving around and having any chance of getting intermittent failures a couple of little burrs down in here that are uh, related to you know moisture and combustion and everything so nothing weird and freaky about it but we'll just drag that screen along and it shouldn't leave any of itself behind and bam well, that's a little bugger we might have a little well bead or something drop down there we'll get that cleared out but <clears throat> these are not going to be cleaned on the boiler so there's a better view of what I was talking about we got well actually we have a a burner malfunction there so I'll have to order a new burner for it I can clear that out of there for now but uh, it's not as not acceptable with a burner malfunction where it's uh cracked and who the heck knows what happened there but but whatever we'll get rid of it and, and then we won't have to worry so we'll check every single one of them they're all gonna come out and then on top of that you'll see these orifices in here There's a bit of crud. We got some, we got some uh, material dropping back out of the burner and impeding the orifice. So that's that's actually a big deal, and uh, we don't like that a bit. So all of that's going to be cleaned up, and of course they'll be cleaned up in place. Never, never take a drill bit. To those guys and drill them out in order to clean them or or change something about your orifice see I just knocked them right off they're all good we'll clean them up a little better than that but you get my point if you clean it with a drill bit you will change your your uh, your size and all of your burning parameters so don't do it um, somebody will have to come in and redo all the buds and uh, probably won't be you so I get rid of our um, ignition here take it completely out we'll get it all cleaned up and I, there's a little thing I want to show you in here as we're going now we just throw those to the side and uh, gas line off that's a uh, 7 16 like most uh, aluminum gas line and half inch for the top now we've got two things holding our ignition burner in place one is 
a crossover bar and the other is the burner itself and uh, and whatever we're just gonna tear that guy out of there too because it has an orifice sort of threaded through I want to be kind of careful we don't want to hear that porcelain snapping or anything okay nothing to it there you go and we have a secondary little pilot orifice comes out this guy and uh, ignites all the way across see the little holes there I want to make sure them holes are clear you know just like any other crossover and see you're right right down the center there but here we have here we have the little orifice for it uh, right there we got our ignition and don't be scared. This is double lot steel wool. And what that's going to do for us here is allow us to clean up our electrode and our flame sensor flame rod without uh, laying down heavy tooth on there and I suppose a lot of us are uh, just using sandpaper and you can use sandpaper but you probably shouldn't use sandpaper because it lays down a whole lot of extra tooth which um, makes for a necessity for you to come back fairly often like you know like you should be anyway every year so it doesn't really matter right but but if you have a test question and it ever said what do you use um, you should pass with your fine steel wool so let me know what you think on the steel wool Because when you think you're right, you think you're right. So it does a pretty good job. And if it doesn't, you need some new components on there. And you should do whatever you have to to get by until you get the new components on there. As long as it's code, legal, and uh, holds up the UL, UL listing of the equipment that you're working on, right? Because that sort of part of your mandate keep the UL listing the integrity that the equipment pass tests on so yeah make sure you're all tight in there of course and same thing this one actually is a little loose on there and uh, we come down to our pilot uh, is not all that bad it's not all that great but it's not all that bad a little stuff in there dust and whatever not horribly pathetic this might not be so necessary on every one of these However, you know, you know you're clean through there.
Don't chew it up. Good as new. Going back together on our ignition system. Our our electrode is going to be oriented towards towards that uh, little little orifice in there, that little hole. And our um, flame rod is going to be oriented sort of over, you know, uh, in a way. So right now we're gonna. I'm going to take a look at our bracket. There's a, a little stud on there. And that guy is going to go through through there. Like so. This one here has has that niche as well, but that niche is going to be on the back side of the screw, the retainers, the retaining screw. So just get that sitting in there. There shouldn't be any um, excessive pressure. On the porcelain it should all pretty much line itself up and lend itself to sitting nice and you know securely and then you just have to get it in there with without damaging it um, you don't have to don't have to be too tight it does have to be snug real real snug so so it won't change on you at any point but unless you have a stack of them you don't want to break anything okay I like that I like that um, note that we were actually operating with our flame rod a little over here so no failures no problems uh, this is more ideal definitely could have ended up having a problem like that And that guy's going to end up sitting in that position and clipped on to the burner next to it. So we'll get all those brushed off and vacuum all that up out of each orifice. And that will be good and ready for burners to all go back in. And we got it all cleaned up there. Several of these actually did benefit from having the screen pass through them. Found a few with little metal fragments uh, clogged up there that uh, that I probably would not have been able to brush out like normal. And you can see we have a direct continuous spark there and our pilot flame is always on throughout the entire cycle so we're under operation we're under pressure and everything's beautiful let it run for a little while take another peek but we're done